All right, hey there, guys. Welcome back to Get Going Fast and Part Two. Wait, that would be Part Four. Part Two of the uh, Steady Dancer uh, workflow. So we're going to actually look at how to use this thing, okay? And um, I'm going to give you some tips on how it all works and all that kind of stuff. So as usual, we watch the last video if you want to know how to install it, okay, and get the workflow. And then you can watch this video and we'll actually play around with it a bit, okay? So we'll jump into that. But before you do that, thank you for liking and subscribing, all that good stuff, hitting that little notification button, so ding, 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 like that, like you uh, sleeping and honey's like, what's going on? You're wiggling around and you just go, I just... I heard my people call. I, I have got to get going fast. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I appreciate that very much. Okay, in the meanwhile, let's pop into getting on with the getting on with uh, Steady Dancer. I think that's a good thing to do, yo. Yoki. So we're going to pop over to our uh, workflow here. And as I mentioned before, you can... Uh, you should download this. If you don't have the workflow, um, you can head over to my blog at cognibuild.ai. I'm really not going to go into this because we just did this. But click on blog and you can find the uh, workflow here under Steady Dance Workflow. Okay? There it is. All right. So get that. Load it up into your comfy UI. I'm assuming you have all your models set up. Okay? So you got to have everything all set up up here. We're not going to worry about anything else up here. Once we get this going... We ain't going to worry about it, okay? We're going to go down here, and we're going to have to do two different things. We need to find the image that we're going to use. Now, this image here is a setup. Uh, this is actually kind of a setup because um, this image ain't going to work well, but I have it here for a reason. We'll come back to that. But we've got to then find images to use, okay? So you got to find <laughs> different stuff. And I'm, I'm going to show you a, a few things about these, but... Pretty much go wherever you can find your videos. Now, I can't really um, talk too much about how to get videos because that's a very sensitive subject. So we're not going to do that. But just assume that you find different ones that you want to run. Okay. Stuff like this. And um, now let's get into our first tip here. You're going to find that with this, you whoops, what really works the best is um, finding ones like this where the camera does not move in and out. So you really, for the most part, want to find something that's pretty consistently um, the size of the, size of the person's face. So see like this, he's moving around a bit, but notice he's not moving away from the frame. He's not moving into the frame. Now this one, notice you get this gal, she starts in the frame and she moves back. This is going to give you problems with your videos here and I'll show you uh, I'll show you the kind of thing that I'm talking about but it causes issues really the type of thing you want is one that stays fairly consistent with the movement and it's going to grab the movement very good this one worked really well for all of my samples cuz she stays right in the frame um and it has a full body view of her as well Okay, so you're able to follow the movements. Now, I'm going to show you here in a second. I'll show you some bad examples of some of those ones we're talking about. But now, when we get up here to choosing an image to go in there, notice something here. If we go down here, you see, it's going to make like a thing, like a full body image. If we have something up here that's only half of a body, you're going to find that it doesn't um, actually... Um, it has to re it has to create a whole body for them. Okay, so again, when you're using your reference things, you're going to want to find full body images to use. Okay, and I'm telling you, no matter what you use, as long as it's a full body, it's going to stay consistent. Okay, um, which to be honest means if you want to use a not safe for work image, it's going to stay consistently not stay safe for work. So if you put them in there with, with clothes or without clothes, it's going to be the person that you put in there. But the key thing is you want to find something that matches the, um, what starts so like this one, showing the full body, you're going to want the full body. Okay. Now I want to show you what happens if you choose something like, you know, like you use this, notice there's no body there. It's just the upper part, same thing there. 
But let's go back over to here, okay? Where I was pictured sweet Donna Reed. Uh, and let's show you what happens here when we use something like this. So now watch. It's going to try. Notice it's got the, the, um, this is what it has to recreate, but this is what it has to work with. So it actually is going to have to create a whole lot of stuff. So if we get start, notice it had to create a whole nother image. Now it's still massively impressive that it kept the hairstyle. It kept the face. It even matched the, the style of clothes that would go with that hairdo, which is pretty impressive. But notice that's not consistent to the original image. But 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 still impressive, okay? So the key thing here is really when you're picking these uh, these things, you need to uh, God, we go. uh, you need to be certain to grab one that actually stays with the image because then we start with like this image, okay? And then we got it. Then it's going to be able to recreate everything. It knows what the pants look like. It knows what the shirt looks like. It knows what the face and the arms. Otherwise, it's just guessing. Okay, and then you're able to do really impressive stuff. Okay, let me show you really quickly here uh, what happens when we use videos like this other one that I was showing you. Like this, okay? This is going to cause some issues. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's look at this one here. She starts up front and she moves in the back. Now, I use this uh, uh, one of these images. Anyways, let's pop over here. Okay, there we go. Use this one. Now, let's see what happens. So she starts big in the image and then she moves back. So now watch what happens here. Notice they move to the back. See, it gets really weird, doesn't it? Okay. Um, same thing happens here. You can throw something in and then check this out. This is just bizarre. It actually creates a smaller person back there. So essentially what's happening is it's starting up there. We'll see the person's big and then the image is getting smaller. Remember, it's creating these things. So this is starting really big and then it's going small. So it's creating all this extra stuff in the back to try to conform to it. So really when you're choosing something for Steady Dancer, um, you really want to find something where they stay consistent like this. And then I think we have one here of uh, Taylor doing this one. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> okay, I'll show this to you. I'll come back to that one here. But there was another great one. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't bring it up here where she's just walking. Um, the point being that you want to stay consistent. Okay, I know I've spoken that a few different times, but it's just, it's very important. See, this video is not going to work. But I will show you a trick, though. So let me show you a trick here. Um, if you want to use this video, but you find it's messing up because of that, if we scroll into here, you'll notice it'll say skip first frames. You can actually slide this up, and it'll start later. So you can actually start it. Now, if you did it back here, notice she's already in the back. So now, but there she's moving towards the camera again. So it's going to get kind of weird. But, but notice that uh, you can start it differently. So if your video isn't great, see, you need to you can just slide it up and start later. So that's actually um, a little tip for you. Now, the other thing was that we were looking at was movement doesn't really... Uh, translate really well. So like movement across the stage. This one might work out okay because he's kind of staying the same. But like that movement across the stage won't translate very well. There's a particular one I'm looking for. Okay, see this? Like this, this little nerd kid moving across the thing. Um, this is where you end up getting uh, not this you get this one. See, so it's just, it just makes for weird stuff. So side movement does not work very well. So while this is awesome, you can't just take any video. You still have to have um, a very particular video. But then when you do get the right video, it works good, okay? So notice she goes off screen there a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. You know, that was because um, we were using uh, 
this one over here. There, he went off screen there for just a second. And so it did the same thing, but notice he stays consistent. Okay, so you've got, what's very important is the type of video you got. Don't want them moving in close, moving out further. You don't really want a whole lot of side movement. You pretty much kind of want a stable viewpoint of the person. If you're at a place where the beginning of the video is no good, skip it forward to the first frame. Again, you need to match the body with the body down here. So whatever it gets down here, it's going to create. Now, if you get a video of only half a person, it's going to only do half a person. So for that one, you would use something, you know, like this. If you had a person of a picture of a person dancing from their stomach down, this image would work great. You could get her to do it. Otherwise, it's going to have to, it's going to extrapolate and create the images. Okay. So I think you guys get the basic idea. Oh, there is one other thing I want to show you here. Depending on the video you put in, the model does not handle head turns very well. So if your video has the person walking backwards and then turning their head, this model does not handle that well. You pretty much need a video where they're looking straight at you. You also get weird stuff like this. Notice that like her head is, I don't even know what they're doing there, but notice she's all backwards. Her head is, you'll get weird stuff like that. So again, you need videos that are straight on, looking at the camera and pretty much full body. Okay, so thank you guys get the basic idea of how this is working. So let's take a quicker look at the rest of the workflow. Again, this stuff up here you really don't need to worry about, except for this. So this does help. Up here at the very top, you have the text encoder. Uh, this is the prompt. So it does help. Um, like I did, a, I did it on myself with long hair and I forgot to change it. It said woman dancing on stage and it actually made me look like a girl. So it does make a difference. You put man on there instead or um, just, it doesn't, you don't really need to focus a lot on this, but little can help. You're not going to change the background. Okay. Um, it is one. So you could do stuff like, you know, they raise their hands or, well, you're not going to do raise their hands because it's forcing that. Um, but you could do things like, you know, a bird appears or, you know, their shirt opens or whatever. I don't know, whatever you do with one. But it's not guaranteed necessarily going to work. So this is more just kind of to, if you're having problems, like I said, like you got a guy and the guy's coming to look like a girl, make sure you just type man in there instead or something like that. So that's really the key there. It's the only thing you really need to worry about up here. Um, there's, you're going to see your final output. So, of course, you can go in here and change uh, over here under format, this is your output format. So it's defaulting to an MP4. You can click on this and choose your different output types, whatever you want. So that's only really important stuff up here. Again, the main stuff is going to be over here where you put your image in. Um, again, this just flows into here and it just kind of gets the hit, width, hit width and the height. It's conforming. All these nodes, are, what they're doing is they're conforming to the um the stuff down here so that's kind of everything just flows into this it it's going to use everything here to pull the um to pull the um identity of the person so there's a lot of magic happening um all around here that's probably all this clip vision stuff is stuff is actually going to be grabbing the person and it's going to meet up down over here now over here again there's nothing really you need to do you just choose your video to upload and then you can use your side buttons to switch between the ones that you've already got um now it's got a force rate so it's going 16 frames per second you can try to raise that if you want um it's got a, a load cap so mine's capping at 176 frames um so it will not make more than that and then at 16 you know uh frames per second sort of thing that'll be a certain amount of time uh that it does so um, that's going to keep you from going out of bounds because you can throw in a four minute video. Okay. So it's not going to go and do the whole four minute video. It's only going to do 176 frames of that. So again, you can use the skip first frames to find the frames that you actually want. And then as I explained before, um, everything in here, maybe that was in the other video, but uh, everything in here, I heard that got pushed up there is really where all the magic happens. This is all your body detection stuff over here. So the image flows into here, meets up with the body detection, goes down into here where, again, you don't need to play with any of this stuff. Um, 
but it's going to go ahead and create this. It's going to create your, your that's called an open pose. Okay. Um, the control net stuff, amazing, amazing stuff. And then it's going to meet up here with the video combine and all this is going to create a video. It's going to put up here and then it's going to bring all this down and, and it's going to say, create the video of this, but use these images of the person up there to, um, to do it. And then you'll see it outputs to here. And then it goes through all this. So a lot of steps, but the key thing is you don't really need to worry about any of this. Now I will notice up here, it does say seed. Seed can be important. It's on randomized right now, which is great. If you ever find that you can't get anything different, find the seed and make sure it's not on fixed. Cause if it's on fixed, you'll get the same result every time. So you always want this on randomized. Um, if you do get uh, something that you like and you're like, oh, I want to recreate this one, you can open up your queue and then just right click on it, go load the workflow and it will have the actual seed that's in there so you can recreate it um, the way that you want. Okay. Okay. Lastly, um, we I want to point out here that whenever you put your video in here, you kind of need to, it should set it for you here. It'll go 480 by 832, right? So that means it's it's uh, taller than it is wide. If you put something in that's longer, then you'll need to change these numbers. It should change for if it doesn't, you can do that yourself. Now, theoretically, you could upgrade these to a higher resolution uh, by keeping the dimensions. So you could say like, you know, 830, 480 by 832 is the equivalent of this higher resolution and get the same different numbers. But I will tell you that um, you're going to run out of uh, VRAM. Uh, so these take about me about four to five minutes to make, which is really incredible speed. Uh, if you really wanted to do higher quality stuff, I would recommend um, renting a GPU because... I think this would run incredible on high VRAM. Like if you really have a project that you're like, I want to get it done nice, I would pay a couple bucks to get um, to use a, a GPU that could do it really good. And I don't typically do that. I don't like paying money for my stuff. I want to run my stuff locally. But if I really had a project and I want to get something high quality, uh, you could do it. Okay. Oh, let me uh, do point out one last thing before we go. Uh, up here with the models, you're going to notice that it has uh, some different stuff here that you can get. You can get this FP8, or you can get the one thing here. So we just talked about downloading the FP8. You can actually download an FP16 um, model, which theoretically is higher quality. I have not seen a difference, okay? So usually you stick with the FP8 because of the speed. FP16 really doesn't cause that much of a speed um, hassle. So if you want to try a higher one, Go up here and you can get the download. Just go to this one up here and you can get the um, FP16 as well. But again, I don't see any difference, so I might as well keep the speed boost by using the smaller one. Um, and uh, then you can make really cool, cool, consistent videos. And like I said, no matter what you put in there, it's going to keep... It's going to keep the consistency of whatever they're wearing, whether they're wearing anything at all. So you can have lots of fun with this, uh, with this as you see fit. All right. So with that, I think we will end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Great model. Um, steady dancer as usual. You can get that over there at um, getgoingfast.pro. This is our new website and it's a lot easier to manage than the other one. A lot easier to find things too as well. You can just click up on the tools button here and you can actually uh, search for stuff. So you can actually just go here as well and just go steady and it will bring up Steady Dancer and you can download it from there. So really cool stuff. Uh, you can get it there. In the meanwhile, I think we'll wrap it up. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you uh, have some fun stuff. Come over to the Discord and share the safe for work stuff that you're working on. I would love to see it. We do have Get Going After Dark. So if you do have stuff that's not safe for work, you can go find that channel as well. And um, feel free to share your, your work in there as well. And uh, All right. But with that said, I think we will give you one of these. We will say see you later. Sayonara. So long, buddy. And uh, we will catch you uh, on the other side.